Beach King, baby. Oh yeah, welcome back to Beach King Stunt Racer. I am Incidic, and with me on these videos is Zindictive. Yo. And we have a new guest to the channel. Everyone say hi to Mini-Me. Hello, happy to be here. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm aiming for the stars, baby. Oh. Finally, someone with like way more subs than I have. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna get like the head of video games himself. But uh, no, oh, no. Uh, if you don't know Mini Me on his channel, he looks at video games from past generations, whether they're console, handheld, or even phone or flash based, that are often interesting or different in an unexpected way. Whether it's games of their time with impressive graphics, games you'd expect to be low effort but that actually put in work, or a game that was just different than you'd expect in some way, he shows off what you didn't know about those games you just didn't give a second thought to. And of course, for the extreme sports boys, he's looked at those classic Tony Hawk games. Especially yep. the handheld versions and what those offered. Yep, and I had, uh, uh, one, I had one of the Game Boy Color ones. I think it was two, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, those were, um, yeah, those were kind the, of bad the, the Game Boy, Boy ones were, um, <laughs> they were something. to say the least. I like yeah. to think that I cover strange games, but I don't think I've covered something this strange. Yeah, this <laughs> this game is a, a ride, that's for sure. We, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. me and Seg looked at this before on a stream, and I gotta say, it, it's still pretty fucking insane, even after seeing you improve. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, kind of as I mentioned in the previous episode, once I started putting videos for this game up, you know, once I put episode one up, there were people in the comments, there were beach lords telling me all the stuff that I didn't know about. I thought this was some seriously, like, one-layer game where you just flipped and flopped your way about, got 100% tricks and all the diamonds, and that was it. But I was told about tricks I didn't know about, like that hammerhead, like you spin one way and spin the other, and that's pretty fast and quick. And then I was also told about what happens if you work on getting past 100% trick score to 200%, 300%, 400%. And so we'll be seeing that in this video and the next one. Oh, and I was also told a certain mechanic about one of the power-ups really? that I had no, no idea about, and we'll see that when that comes up later. Huh, that'll be interesting, because, uh, you know, a lot of these paths seem to be pretty straightforward, like, you know, you have the, uh, the tornado thing, which you spin around faster, the spring, which you jump higher, the, the ice, which freezes your time, I don't know what power-up wouldn't make much sense. Yeah, um, it was, specifically, it was that, uh, other thing I could pick up, which kind of looked like a reverse symbol. Oh, yeah, you know, the fucking, Hitting your um, opponent with that Uno draw four. Yeah. Or something, but uh, yeah, I'll, once I get one of those, I'll kind of go back to that subject. If you guys aren't going off on some mad tangent about some mad stuff, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, Zin kind of saw me right when I was just playing the game for the first time and just flopping around like a fish, but now I'm like a smooth shark, like cutting through the water. <laughs> Beach King uh, Pro over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, and so we're back on back on Bali, level two of that area, the yeah. cave. Well, with and this so guy again. We only really explored the other characters like once in the stream, so it's. I actually like this guy's design. At all like this is probably the best character in the game to me. Yeah, yeah. I really relate to him being a fat guy, <laughs> me being fat guy. You know, uh, every time yeah. I go for those like fourth scoops of ice cream. You think of this guy? You know, some people get a third scoop. I look the ice cream vendor dead in the face, and I just shake my head, and I go, No. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but once again, you start in the new area, new part of the level. Really trying to standardize on, you know, yeah. my wording. Um, but some of the diamonds are in the base part of the level, so mm. still want to check that out. And Eventually, we're going to make our way up to the new Part again. Uh, actually, in Bali, it's pretty interesting. There are multiple paths for getting up to the new, new part. Back at St. Tropez, it was just the one. You just drove through that gate that was locked your first time around. But in Bali, there's a few ways you can get up. All right. All right. So, so these are all real-world locations. We're in Bali. Where have we been so far? Yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah. There's the fucking thing. 
Okay, yeah, one one more thing. So, that, uh, yeah, that red kind of reverse that I picked up and I never really knew what was happening. I mean, it, it would be there no matter what other special tricks he did, but I was told that if you reset your character while you have one of those active, you'll go back to where you pick it up. So, it actually kind of makes sense when you see those, like, on areas where it's easy to fall off, like roofs or, uh, to the very top of a level or a special line or so something. So, it's like a limited, like, restop point. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I just yeah. never bothered with resetting my character before, so... I yeah, never like, there was never really much anymore. of a point. <laughs> yeah. Cause, but, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, like, traversing through this place isn't that difficult, so it's just, like... And considering how little time you really have, it's just... You don't really get much incentive to really use this thing. Well, I mean, actually, kind of if you pick up, like, all of the time extenders and all the time freezers, you actually have quite a lot of time. Yeah. Especially when they start giving you more time. Uh... But a reset might be good for, like, that jump, which I almost completely messed up. Mm. Like, if you got the reset, then went for that, and failed, you could theoretically reset yourself back to yeah, if, being if, able to try that again. If you ate your fist on the fucking sand, you would definitely want to use that. Right. Alright, so, anyway... Mini-Me, how, how much are you kind of an extreme sports boy oh. beside the, uh, you know, Tony Hawk games <laughs> that we all know and love? Beyond skateboarding, not much. I've played a lot of, like, Kelly Slater's and Matt Hoffman's. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Kelly Slater. But I've never played a game where you drive a cart around a beach. Oh, Blackout would love to talk to you about Kelly Slater. Kelly Slater's good. I mean, he referenced it last time. Did I? Yeah, really the Activision formula of games. Yeah, like that that snowboarding game that's just a Tony Hawk game. That was a good yeah, one. Sean yeah, Sean Palmer. Yeah. That was the first Let's Play I ever did oh, on really? this channel. Yeah. Sean Palmer Pro Snowboarder, yeah. That's cool. So... <laughs> like, <laughs> we all have like humble beginnings. Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, so, alright then. Um, you don't know about the... The wide seas of weird ones. <laughs> well, I played I played Metal Gear Solid skateboarding. Does that count? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, that one. <laughs> that was um, what game was that actually based on? I forgot. It was some but... other Konami game. It was like Evolution. Yeah, yeah Evolution, Evolution skateboarding. skateboarding. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. I never played that. Of which I also have a series for, <laughs> but uh. <laughs> Alright, so we're dumping you in the Marianas Trench, basically. Beach King Stunt Racer is weird. Once again, I didn't even know about this game until yeah. I saw it on the Extreme Sports Wiki. And So you've checked out some episodes, you've, you've seen this I, game's yeah, held so together I saw, with I saw a, and duct tape a video players. where you were mm. fumbling around and crashing into things, and now it looks like you're the best player of this game. <laughs> uh huh. You say that right after I had a period of fumbling around and crashing. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> But I am. I do feel like I'm in the deep end. I don't know why there's a girl celebrating in the corner and there's these diamonds we're collecting. I'm a little confused. Well, you know, we're, we're trying to get laid. That's the part uh, of the game. Okay. Yeah, that, but basically, I mean, isn't that the main goal in life? I yeah. think so. I mean, there's been like like plays written back in the Middle Ages all about just trying to get laid. It's like the plot number one of you know the the handbook. Yeah, mm. this game knows what the deal is, because every other freaking uh -huh. extreme sports game, they're all about their trophies and shit. Well, this game just gets straight to the point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, after all, you're my Beach King baby. Exactly. Uh, you guys are going to be calling me that by the end of this. Oh, God. That <laughs> sounded weird. Can I strike that from <laughs> But all right. All right, Mini V. So, you drive around. Mm -hmm. You're a beach bum in a beach cart. You can also just do six stunts. You spin with the left thumbstick, you flip or barrel roll with the right thumbstick, you can combine them together. Um, yeah, you, you have... You can carry a fucking you, tornado in your pocket. Yeah, you can manual, nose manual, like, manual on two wheels, but to the side or to the right. You, they have all the options. Most of them are terrible. Um, cool. <laughs> you can kind of chain tricks together, but, like, 
not really. What do you mean? So can you like land in manual and keep going or? Yeah, like if the stars work out, you can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it's like the maximum multiplier is like 3x, so it's really not worth it. You get random pickups. Not random. What, what are you can see them. But What are you <laughs> oh, doing? What? Oh, I found another part where the uh, invisible wall didn't quite match up with the texture. And actually, once, once I turn around, you can see at the very corner oh. of this half pipe that you could just see through the wall. <laughs> I point. Oh, yeah. you, you know, in, in, in St. Tropez, we found that part where, like, the invisible wall yeah. was so stuff from the texture you could just like sit with your car completely out of bounds you, you pretty much could you could you were able to actually get completely out of bounds and yet you were just stuck yeah. there essentially yeah so i was trying to find something like that for this level did the people who made this make anything else uh sorry if yes. i'm retreading oh yeah cars. they they made the very popular question mark question mark london racer series <laughs> which i have played I have. I oh, think I have both have? the games. Is there two of them? Oh my god, they exist. <laughs> yeah, I see yeah, them around on PC. I, I never. I had never heard of London Racer. I, those. I actually played it on stream, and I can tell you right now, it's very boring. It, with a name like London Racer, I believe it. <laughs> uh, it's also cheap as shit. It ain't that fun. Like, do you think there's a video game out there, like a car racing video game, that just called CAR? Did you know there's actually a car racing game where you just race of trains? I mean, they had, uh, oh god, big rigs, so I believe, I, I believe, I'd believe it. Yeah. Yeah, there's an actual game that tries to make, like, train racing, like, intense and such. Oh. I thought we were a car racing trains. Is this a game where you play as trains, racing other you trains? You actually race other trains. Oh, okay. You go from A to B, and like you have to break before you like go past the finish line, or else you you fail essentially. I mean, haven't you seen that one like picture where it's like multi-track drifting? You know, <laughs> you can do some cool yeah. stuff in trains. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so I had a bunch of time on the clock, and I'd been told about what happens if you just keep tricking. So we passed 100%, oh, but I was going to double a, my score. Is there a world to a thing of this where if you get double the normal score, you get something out of it? Oh, yeah, there is, actually. You get, like, extra character skins or bike or, or scooter skins yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. You're playing World Tour right now. How's that going? Uh, I've already uploaded. Oh my god, there is. Oh god. Yeah, so you get bronze at 200% and her animation changes. Now she's like leaning over and looking at you. <sighs> so you and, have to uh, get a silver and a gold. Well, you don't have to. You only have to get 100% to pass yeah. the level. But there is a bronze, silver, and gold. So we have the half pipes, we have the tricks, we have the meats. Arby's picked me up. And uh, at 300 percent, yeah, your beach babe gets even more excited. Now she's like, like holding Jesus on her Christ. head. And How like is she gonna act if you get to a gold? <laughs> well, unfortunately, I didn't have enough time left in this run to get there. But maybe next time. Yeah, I mean, maybe next time. I feel like we gain the gold in every level with some kind of 100 percent requirement. I mean, I don't care yeah. unless it's really needed. No one's told me like, yeah, you have to get all golds. It's, I think it's just something for the high, for the uh, oh god, the high score menu, the records or something, which we're gonna see coming up. I hadn't really jumped into that before, but um, but yeah, back but in yeah, the menu, in um, fucking world yeah. tour, you had to do things like getting millions of points. Uh, getting like a times nine in score in order to unlock everything. Yeah, yeah, I remember. You didn't act. I didn't actually, you know, need to do that. But I guess if you're really, really, you know, suffering through that, I mean, you know, more power to you, my man. <laughs> do we need yeah. to have an intervention? <laughs> <laughs> Mini, do we gotta intervene on this guy or something? I think we do. I think there's a problem. Oh. Also, Jeez. the high scores only show up to like bronze, 
Like if you get silver, you're basically like top score on every single thing. <laughs> uh, in this game, yeah, yeah, it seems so. All right, so that was uh, Bali Cave, and so next we're going to the second version of Rio, and um, yeah, we'll see what's different there. And again, maybe we'll see what happens if you get the ultimate score. So thank you, Mini Me, and thank he'll you. be on next video as well. Check out his channel if you don't know about him but are interested in some of those older games. And yeah, we'll see you next time. See ya.